What is this stuff? Hey everybody, welcome back to Growing Organic. I've got an interesting video for you. There is this white latex kind of a substance oozing out of these plants. I barely, these papaya fruits, I barely touch it, watch what happens. This is very odd. Now I did some research on this and it turns out what this stuff is, is a white latex type substance um, that is oozes out if you just barely touch these these fruits and it's typical for the green fruit you won't um, I just barely tapped it with a knife and this has got a very kind of a paint like substance kind of a sticky paint substance and this stuff once you touch it it just is just dripping all over I mean I barely even touch that thing with a knife it's not like I'm stabbing into it um, I can probably just touch it with my finger just touch it with my finger like that's what happens so this is just oozing this white kind of a substance here very interesting so I did some more research and found out who would have known this has actually a lot of medicinal um, benefits and um, uses in the in the world. Um, it's, it's actually a protein enzyme. It breaks down en uh, proteins, and so it's used as a meat tenderizer. Uh, it's used in the cosmetic industry. Um, textile industry pharmaceutical it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory it's uh, a skin exfoliant acne treatment some people may be allergic to this so if you're allergic to latex you may not want to uh, put this on your skin but I actually was reading a lot about it and they there's a whole process of harvesting this stuff and then it's dried out so what they do is they'll put multiple slices in it like every couple days I'll do a slice a slice and a slice it's just bleeding it's just like bleeding this stuff watch how much stuff drips out so what they'll do is save this stuff it'll accumulate all of the sap they'll leave this under and do this every other day for like uh, three weeks and this has to be from the green papaya the green papaya has the most of this enzyme and it's the enzyme is called papain and it's um, basically um, like I said breaks down protein so it helps break down um, like if you have skin uh, bumps on your skin um, it'll eat away the, uh, the the proteins in your in your skin like the dead keratin cells and it'll it'll smooth out your skin it'll Actually, I just tried it out earlier because um, I have a little bit of acne on my face. So I grabbed a little bit. I just kind of let's do this again. Just I'll take some of that and I'm just I wipe that literally right on top of the acne. Now I don't know if it's going to be good for everybody, but you may be allergic to this. But I tried it out, and surprisingly enough, it actually very refreshing on the skin it feels and I let it tried it out for about an hour and it actually dried up my acne and the skin just feels very kind of fresh and clean um, who would have known so this stuff is really amazing it's got all types of medicinal benefits anti-inflammatory um, it's sold as a digestion aid to break down proteins as I was saying if you eat meat or you have a problem um, digesting proteins you can consume these so I don't think it's typically eaten straight but you know again if you're allergic to certain things um, latex so you definitely want, don't want to do this unless you uh, consult a doctor probably or, or try it out for yourself first so what they'll do is um, how they harvest is, harvest as I was saying they'll do the slices let it harvest this for like a three weeks straight before they ripen 
and just accumulate all this and then it dries in the sun. So, interesting um, all the health benefits of these of these plants. Here's the flowers when they just start forming. I'm interested if, to see if all of these bleed. Oh, look at that. They all bleed. Jeez, look at that. I mean, these are just dripping. You just barely, barely touch it. And it's just like they're bleeding. Just like dripping everywhere. Wow, this is just pretty amazing. And as it dries, it almost dries like a glue. You can put your fingers together and your fingers will kind of stick together like glue. Um, it has so many uses, so many medicinal purposes that I've just been reading about just now. So, very interesting. So, I thought I'd show you guys this and seems to be a uh, something worthwhile you could even harvest this yourself as I am what they'll do is they'll wrap something around the bottom like a, a pan and let's just let this drip all day long and just they'll do multiple slices in it <clears throat> so anyway again these are typically grown in South uh, Central America Mexico not here in San Diego so I'm pretty surprised these are doing so well here Anyway, that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, click like and subscribe and uh, hope to see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.